Hello and welcome to another episode of Chop in a Tiny Kitchen. I'm your host, Darren Overby, and we are on the lovely cruise ship Pacific Trade Winds. For today's episode, we have three fine chefs who come from all over the world from some of the most culinary venues of the world. First, we have Avi Nocella from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, USA. Hey! And then we have Lorenz Fuhler from Deutschland. Hello. And last but not least, we have Francois Gauguin. <laughs> and thank you to our studio audience for joining us today. Uh, our judges are among the audience today, and we will get to them just a little bit later in the show. Our three chefs have no idea what they're going to be preparing tonight, but they all know that they will have one hour to prepare their meal. What we will then add is a twist. We add a mystery ingredient, which none of them know what will be chosen, or they will have to prepare, and that mystery ingredient must be incorporated into the meal that they prepare for our judges. So now we go on to choosing of the item that they're going to be cooking. What? Francois has chosen a side. And now we have Lorenz. Lorenz will be making the appetizer. And that leaves for Avi. Avi will be preparing the entree. And now we will reveal the mystery ingredient, which each of these chefs, no matter what they're preparing, appetizer, entree, or dessert, will have to incorporate into their meal. And the mystery ingredient is tomatillo. I quit. I can't do it. <laughs> and this is what happens in Chop in a Tiny Kitchen. The pressure is intense. Now, unlike some of those shows that you've seen on the fancy television productions where they have kitchens that are like 10,000 square feet, our chefs have to work in the small confines of the shipboard kitchen at Pacific <laughs> Trade Winds. <laughs> All of them will be preparing their meals, and they have one hour to do it in this small space. All right, and now, chefs, are you ready? Yeah. Your time starts now. What do you think about the uh, preparation so far? What the smells coming out of the kitchen? Um, we're about halfway through now. I overheard them talking before, and they seemed a little at edge dealing with the space and the various assortment of ingredients. It'll be very interesting to see how they incorporate all these things into the final product and who can come through the best in the time that will shortly be running up. And you, of course, have experience in these areas. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Chopping takes time. You have to be dedicated to removing all the extra things that you don't need. These guys are working very quickly, and uh, I think they're only destined for great things. So JP, we're about halfway through the preparation. You're starting to get some of the smells from the kitchen. And uh, so what do you think? What do you think so far? Uh, I'm a bit more impressed. They seem to be a bit more organized. They're not running around as frantically anymore. The, the aromas are uh, getting my appetite going, so I'm keen to see what comes out. Great. And have you smelled anything like this in your uh, your experience in Australia? Uh, no, it's more just like meat on the barbie back there, so pretty um, pretty different. Lorenz, what is that you have there? It's plum with uh, prosciutto. I'm curious. It's, it smells delicious, right? 
So what are you doing over there, Avi? I am sauteing and caramelizing onions and pumpkin right now to go into our pumpkin bisque, and I'm roasting more pumpkin. We're gonna have layers of pumpkin. Layers. Cooking risotto. Risotto with uh, fresh tomatillo, cilantro oil, and a little bit of sriracha on top. They have two minutes left to finish their preparation. Uh, and it looks like we don't have any kind of a lid for the blender. This could be dramatic. I am going to step back. That is just fascinating. All right, that's it. The timekeeper has called time, and we are finished with our preparation phase at Chopped in a Tiny Kitchen. Risotto is cooked al dente, tomatillos, nicely done. I'm happy the sriracha is there. Pablo from Argentina. So how does this compare to some of the uh, rest fine restaurants you have in Argentina? Argentina and this is great. It's one of the best I've tried. They should make a profit of this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> JP. I'm, I'm actually pleasantly surprised. It's quite nice. It's a nice mix of flavors. It's done well. So it looks like the next course is coming out. And the, the next course was prepared by Lorenz. What do you have here for us today? We have the German salad. And like every kind of vegetable, including the mystery ingredients in the salad. And we have a dried plum wrapped in prosciutto, the Italian ham stuff. I love it. I hope you guys enjoy it. Pretty good. Um, that comes, comes from a guy that don't like salads, you know? So it's a good thing. In Argentina, you don't have salads? No, no, I don't like me, myself. I don't like salads, but this, this is good. <laughs> yeah. And how about the prosciutto with the plum? Oh, let me try that. Oh. Yeah. Pretty good, yeah. Great. I told you. Yeah. Thank you. I think I asked one of one more of these. <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, that seems like a glowing review to me. Josue. So now we're moving on to Josue, and um, Josue has already finished his. It, he didn't wait very long. It was just like done. Well, what did you think, Josue? Very good. He says it's very good. Very good. JP, you're on the second course now. What do you think? Yeah, it's, it's very nice. I would have liked to have uh, seen this more. Maybe um, maybe it'd be like a salad. I know it's an appetizer, but I think this could have been adapted well. Maybe put a bit of avocado in there. It's very crunchy. But it's um, as an appetizer, yeah, I'm impressed. And, and what do you think of the prosciutto with plum? Have you tried that yet? I have not not really. I don't know if it does go with the side too much. Um, it's not really something I've experienced before. Uh, not particularly to my liking, but it's um, worth a try. <laughs> Thank you very much. Doing the main course. Main course. I have for us today for our main course a uh, Thai pumpkin bisque with uh, shrimp glaze and. Tomatillo salsa, garn, garnier. Josue, Judge Josue is going to be taking his first uh, sample. 
Are you waiting for me, my response here? I need some time to register this. So now we have Judge JP from Australia. Yeah, look, I think this wins hands down as far as presentation goes. I'm very impressed. Um, it's a lot of flavors bursting out here. Good use of the mystery ingredient too. I can't even taste it. Mystery. <laughs> Uh, Alright, moving on. Okay, it's very tasty. A bit spicy. <laughs> yeah. Um, I cannot taste the ingredients themselves, so that's a good thing, right? It's still a mystery. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's great. Yeah. We are now at the awards presentation at Chop in a Tiny Kitchen. And I've polled all of the judges, and they all said that all of the chefs did an amazing job, so you all win an award. Yeah! All right, so one at a time. Since we're on the ship Pacific Trade Winds, one at a time, I'm going to ask you to come up and you will choose port, starboard, or center, and that will be your prize. So, Francois, go ahead. Choose port, starboard, or center. Port. And Francois gets port. Avi? Starboard. Avi chooses starboard. And that leaves for Lorenz the center. Thank you to all of the chefs who participated tonight. And thank you to our studio audience and the judges and the dishwashers. It's been a wonderful time. And that concludes another episode of Chop in a Tiny Kitchen.